I can remember the first time that we came by and you took us to the injector shop and uh, the green injector machine running injectors that day and they were just wide open running injectors and for a 7.3 so that way they're all yeah. within a certain parameter for well, everything with that being said let's go down there and check it out yeah let's do it But we still, I mean, we still do a lot of power strokes too. I probably 800 to 1200 a month. So, you have to get a little bit of a deal for you, right? I need to get with your own part numbers and stuff like that. Specs for the pumps and injectors for IDI stuff. Yeah, because the, oh, yeah. the IDI stuff, people ask us all the time, and the only place I know to send The power strokes work off the oil and the fuel. So, this machine gives us control over both the pressure of the fuel and the oil. And essentially, you know, you plug it in. Let's show you how quick this is. I'm gonna get out of your way. Wouldn't it be nice to have that set up in a truck? Uh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> be able to just swap the injector out that fast. <laughs> so That's essentially it is just like the uh, truck. Simulates engine operation. And that, that would be your cylinder head. Yep, and then uh, so the fuel will enter in this part of the injector, and the oil enters in this part of the injector, and this is set up just for that. This can spray you though, so. <laughs> and then here are the oil returns. And a few things we work for, look for is like unusual running conditions, and uh, you'll see if an oil side's not uh, sealed properly, the oil return will just spray oil the entire time. And that is not good. So let's see here. Okay, it's gonna be a little loud. So we'll do idle first. Then you always wanna make sure it has fuel pressure over oil pressure. a small gap between them so this one here would actually be the one that passed these ones are a little too low so I'd have to adjust them this one of course wouldn't that one has a part pass. that's bad in it obviously so or uh, the relation between the parts is off so it's not like perfect tolerances in there as far as measurements of shims and stuff so like something maybe bypassing internally or something is yeah, uh, probably coming out the return most mm -hmm. likely so you'd see a loss of power if that was in the truck you'd probably see a loss of power because you'd have a cylinder that wasn't feeling like You'd have to your balance that would be, that would be a off. miss. That would set yeah. an engine uh, contribution. Yeah. At high, but not at idle, huh? Because the idles were. Idle would be all right. It's under acceleration. Yeah. You'd have so that's one of those trucks that you're like, man, this thing idles perfect. It runs like shit when I'm trying yeah, to drive exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, because you can't do a contribution there test you go. above that, the idle. It, yeah. 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 yeah so. There's no guesswork to it. That's why you, you buy the machines to test them, right? Yep. Absolutely. No lie. I, I see people all the time talking about that they can rebuild them at home, and it's like, yeah, you can rebuild them at home, but this is the result you get. That's the result yeah. you get. Right. Um, well, you, there's you no way to balance here. them. Well, yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I come by and pay a test fee, I guess. But I, you know, just on a bench at the house, you know, yeah, yeah. you can buy the DIY kits. Huh? And this is why you don't nozzles, do DIY. Nozzles have to be replaced too. They just yeah, they are wore out. The big thing with those seven threes is the uh, people like to put Arm shims underneath the armatures. Yes. So and that really is one of the big things, and we absolutely don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, it, it that's a band-aid on a war on injector. They're compensating right? for a part that's yep. out of spec. Right, correct. 
So and something. battle oil. What does battle oil do? And then oil's all rough. It sticks to the oil valve and it leaks. And it could erode it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the main thing. That was what I saw all the time. It was almost yep. And it was what was the the EAs, the OBSs, the mm -hmm. before they were always, or were they good? One of them was always bad. A, B, uh, or AD. There's good and bad, depending uh, on the I remember this one of them was always really bad. How many miles yeah. they got on them? How many times that yeah. oil valve's moved? Because more or less, if this is essentially the oil has sand in it, so it's like liquid sandblasting in a sense. And if this isn't able to stop the oil from flowing through the injector, like say it's worn out and the oil just seeps through, mm -hmm. then yeah, you'll have what you have on the stand there where it returns. Yeah. Or returns too much on that valve. Line. That's just a no ring. That's what I imagine that injector has an issue with that O ring. So is that a rebuilt injector? Or is that one that's come in to be rebuilt? No, it's a rebuilt injector, and we've got to figure it out why, why it's not calibrating. I had him throw a bad one in there so that we could well, see. Well, and that's you did. Yeah, I well, that, that's what I told him. Oh, I told well, him that, well, that, I guess that's what I'm getting at. It's like you didn't just rebuild this injector, throw it in the machine, and go. All right, that's good enough to send out to somebody. All those are rebuilt, ready you know. to calibrate. Yeah, but you have to you have to pass them through calibration. Yeah, and well, there is you know they they are rejected because what? they're not something's not right in them. Well, and, that, and that's why we wanted to come look at this too. It's like. Most people think you just rebuild this thing and throw it in the box and out the door it goes, no, no, you know, no. versus it actually going in a flow bench. Sometimes these can be temperamental, like it, it sometimes are hard to calibrate. Sometimes they go right through and you don't mm -hmm. have a problem. Well, correct me if I'm wrong too, y'all send them out in sets of eight so they all are evenly matched, right? We built every injector to the same specs. We don't have to do that. Okay. Yeah, so this injector here with all those, or this tray with all those injectors, you could grab any one of those and it will be the same spec. Same. Okay, so that that way if somebody well because that's the big problem is we'll sell to some of the wholesalers or retail you know the mm -hmm. like the big warehouses they'll put twenty on the shelf, on the shelf. well twenty Single doesn't boxes. get you twenty doesn't get you you know yeah. three mm -hmm. sets or well, two sets well then the other thing and too they'll is, just grab eight of that is somebody put one in at home and yeah. they tear something up when they're installing it and they need a warranty injector quote unquote warranty injector like when they get another one back it's going to be the same spec you're not going to have one that's a little bit different than the other one it would be easier yeah. for us if we can sell in sets of eight because we can be five high on this set or five low on this set it's going to run good but if you get one five low and five high and instead of a hundred of them mm -hmm. you could have differential between 10 mm -hmm. cc's instead of five right mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so yeah it is harder to do it the way we do it but the way we do it we can sell more and distribute more product. Well, it's a better result too. It's a better yeah. result because everything's the same. Well, you get, a better, <coughs> you get a better customer experience because then the customer, if they've got a, I mean, you have warranties. It's just, it's just the name of the game, right? So if you have to warranty an injector, you don't have to warranty eight. Yep. Is Whether it's warranty. our fault or not, we deal with warranties, sure, you know? Absolutely. And, and it, knowing that the injector where it's balanced at, we don't have to send multiple or have them send them in so we can balance to them. So they just grab one right off the shelf and yep, ready to go. Makes it easy for all of us, really. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially, especially you running this all day. It doesn't and make it easier for Ronnie because he he has to make sure they're all perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you can't just stick them in there and go. Hey, that'll right. work today. Good. That's CD. good enough for today. We'll call it a CD. good. Yeah. So we're we're headed passing through here, going to the No BS OBS show in uh, Kaiser, Oregon. It's the largest OBS only truck show that there is in, the, in I would venture to say, the world. Uh, we're driving up from Texas, so we had to stop by here at an in. Blah, blah, blah. We had to stop here at an in. I'm going to get it in a minute. We had to stop here at Industrial Injection. Uh, we wanted to kind of get some behind the scenes here. Um, we take for granted what we sell and what we know. Uh, we wanted to show customers how this stuff is is made and what you know kind of the vastness of it um, by stopping here that and we know everybody here and are friends with everybody so we want to stop say hi to our friends and kind of show off our trucks and whatnot so uh, we're making a making a full day out of this stopping by to to chat <laughs> 